Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. What's up, Spikes? We're back again this week with some awesome Commander gameplay, and joining us today is our good friend Alex McGregor. Say hi to the camera, Alex. Hi to the camera. Not that one. Oh, that one? Oh, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we are playing uh, some pretty sweet decks. I am playing a personal favorite and some fan favorite, uh, Circu Demir Lobotomist. I'm playing Tashana today for uh, our lovely game of CDH. Uh, standard Elf Ball, you've seen the list before. Uh, I'm excited to give her a runaround, and hopefully no hate pieces come out early this time. That's right, Jerry. Give her the runaround. Uh, I'm going to be playing a Curiosity Control deck, which is helmed by Bile Smasher the Fierce and Crown Ludovix Opus. Uh, it was actually a list that was created by one of our patrons. His name is Wedge, and he is spectacular. He has the best customized emotes I've ever seen in my life. One of them is just his face, extremely happy, and one of them is the uh, the satisfied emoji on a wedge of cheese. Uh, and it's just, it's phenomenal. Anyway, uh, so I'm hopefully going to be able to put a Curiosity Effect onto Vile Smasher um, so that I can draw cards and deal damage. I like it. Me too. It's good. Seems great. Uh, hi everybody, my name's Alex, uh, guest starring, and I'm actually playing a deck from a patron as well. Uh, this is actually Shaper Savant's Kenrith Elf Ball deck. Oh, so not just any patron. The, the indeed, uh, <laughs> these shapers of mine. We play so many of his decks. We well, had an entire episode. We about did. Them. Well, you want to sponsor our channel, shapers? <laughs> yeah, I think he already does. Probably. Anyway, uh, well, I'm, I guess. Yeah. I'm actually doing some fun things with uh, Dockside Extortionist and everyone's new favorite reserveless card, Baron Master Wizard. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, pick I'm, up your barons now. Yeah, uh, pick up your barons like four weeks ago, apparently. Master yeah. your wizards. Yeah. Uh, in any case, I'm going first, so I'm going to go ahead and start the game. I have free game effects. Ah, oh, no! Don't at me. Leyline of the Void. I don't know if that affects me at all. I don't know if that affects me at all. Cool, I'm going to start the game. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a turn. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to lead off with uh, this Tundra. And Ooh. pass. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm going to draw this card. We're all way too excited about that. We are. I'm going to play this Polluted Delta. And pass. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play this Yavamaya Coast, and I'm going to tap it, taking a damage. Oh, oh I was going to pass. Nah, yeah, man. There goes 39. I have a free untapped source of damage dealing to myself. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a Finhorn Elves and pass the turn. Very good. I will draw the first card of the game. Uh, I'm going to play an Underground Sea and use it to cast a Ponder. I have tapped this way too far, but I'm <laughs> in too deep now. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna keep these on top like Ooh. this and draw this one and then this is gonna get exiled and uh, I'm gonna pass the turn. In your end step, I'm actually going to cast... Oh, Disaster. An Enlightened Tutor. Oh. In response, I'm gonna crack my Polluted Delta going to 39 to save some time. So... His resolves first. Uh, mine resolves first, Alex. I'm gonna get a Watery Graved Tapped. I thought that was a second polluted that one. Delta. Second polluted <laughs> delta. <laughs> a judge? Uh, Tap, polluted delta. I'll get this Mystic Remora and put it on top. Oh no, that's a very good card. It's I a, hope so. It's a mediocre card at best. I'll untap. What card you draw? Uh, that's privileged information. Oh, okay. I believe it's uh, actually pretty hidden information. Derived, maybe? <laughs> Since it involves a past game action. In any case, <laughs> well, I'm going to play this Flooded Strand. Yes. And then, shocking, I think, hopefully, no one. This Mystic Remora. I am shocked. I am no one. Take two damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you have any effects? No, do you have any no, effects? I, got I have no effects. You're all tapped <laughs> out. Go, Jan. I could force negation it. Pa <laughs> Pact of negation. See ya, suckers. Force I'm gonna draw this Pact card. Days. Oh, no. Sweet. Play around days. I like see ya, suckers. That's a good one. Blooded Strand. Go. Untap. Draw. Tap two mana. Not paying ouch. Um... I'm going to play talk. a Sylvan Carry Added Ugh. and pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap. Draw a card. Oh, I knew that one was there. So I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills. And then 
I'm going to pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to crack my flooded strand. And I'll get this Savannah. Ooh, ooh that's nice. And then I'll untap for my turn. Mr. Grimora gets one age counter, and I'll pay its cumulative upkeep. Wooded Foothills. Oh, ooh, you do. Yeah. Oh. Same. Oh. And then uh, I'll actually cast a Mana Vault. Are you going to pay four? Uh, I can't. It's not. All right, I'll Mostly because I don't have it, <laughs> but also because I don't have to. Oh. Oh, uh, and wow. then, yeah, we'll pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to crack this flooded strand. I have a response. I'm also going to crack my flooded strand. Ooh. I'm going to crack my wooded foothills. Oh yeah, this is a wooded foothills. I'm going to I, I'm going to, I'm going to sit here. Okay. I'll grab this bayou. I'm going to grab a volcanic island. I'm going to grab a regular island. Perfect. We did that in uh, priority order. We did. We're the best. Yeah. Spicy island. Okay, what's going on now? You were you were ending your turn, right? Yeah, it's Jan's turn. Oh, it's my turn. I'm gonna yeah. draw a card. <laughs> this is a good card. I'm That's gonna it. play a Marsh Flats. Look at all these fetch lines. I and, think your fetch uh, line is exile. No, it's not. No, that's a that's that, not. This is not right? symmetrical. Get out of my face, oh, Jerry. Man, non-symmetrical. I'm gonna uh, pass the turn. I'm gonna untap my uh, sources of mana and draw a card. I'm going to tap two mana. Mm -hmm. Nah, we'll leave the O3 up as a blocker. Okay, so you still okay, two mana. Okay, two Three. mana. Jerry's at 38. Life. I'm not paying any life. Okay. I'm gonna play a Bloom Tender. Are you paying the four? Uh no, because I do not am not required to. You're paying I, the two for Bloom Tender. I will pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw. Uh I'm gonna play a snow covered island. And I'm going to use my three mana that I have available to cast Vile Smash of the Fierce. Red, black, other. Yeah. Uh I'm going to pass the turn. Uh on your end step. Nope. I'm gonna Crack my map at Marsh Flats. I'm gonna get this underground sea. Under the sea. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Nope. I regret this. I should've got an island. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I will continue passing Bill's turn oh, for him. Oh, same. Excellent. I'm gonna start my turn finally. Uh, and then we'll go to two counters on my Mystic Remora. Four, four. Oh, I saw four. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below, was it four? <laughs> That's uh, two mana paid. And we'll move to my draw step. Then we'll play this taiga. That's so many dual lands. How many dual lands is it? Four, exactly. That's... <laughs> hmm. Then Apt. we'll pay two for Demonic Tutor. Oh no. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh god. Uh, yeah? Or I no, guess I... no effects. You're the one who likes to shadow dough people. I do. Uh, <laughs> that is so good. I'm gonna pass priority on that. I am also going to pass priority on that. Alrighty, and so my Demonic Tutor will resolve. Yep. What card do you get? Well, you don't get to know, but if people pay attention to this, they might see. Ooh. Elliot, what did you get? Hey, can you tell us in right the now? Comments below. Yeah. No. All right. I need you to go back in time what and tell us. What else are you going to do? Pass turn. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's really good. All right, I'm going to draw this card. Hiya! I bet you got more mana sources just so you can keep painting into this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jerry. Um, I'm going to play cool. this Command Tower. And I'm going to cast a spell. <gasps> Is it a creature? No. Well, if Jan's going to do it, I'm going to start doing it. Hiya! Karn! Karn, the great creator. Would you That's like to pay four? No. Cool. He well, creators he, greatly. He paid four once. He can't do it again. Yep. Um, That's the one that stops artifacts, right? Yep. Correct. Okay. Null rod. Five. <laughs> um, so I'm going to tick up, and nobody played any moxes this game. No. Nope. Or mana crypts. No mana no. vault. Uh, I don't you want You can turn it into a one-run and kill it somehow. Pass. <laughs> I'm gonna untap. You can give it more utility than Drucker. it currently has. I guess it's time to just let, since I'm not the first, I want the comments to know, let her uh, I was not the first one to uh, play the fish. into the fish. Yeah, do it. So I'm going That's to fine. cast a Sylvan Scrying. Oh, not paying the four. Not paying the four. I have no effect. Um, so I'm going to get a guy's cradle and play it as land for turn. I knew it. Sorry. Uh, pass the turn. All right. Oh, wow. You didn't do anything with it? No, nope. I'm going to draw it. Uh, I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs. That's pretty good. No, I think I'm going to do this. Mm. This is, this actually feels kind of weird, but also sweet at the same time. I'm going to cast Tandem Lookout, trigger Vile Smasher the Fierce for three. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got hey, it. Hey, Vile Smasher. That's Ooh, me. Oh, wow. Jan, take three. Four, three, four. Okay, Tandem Lookout is now on the stack. Effects. Results. I'd Effects. like to read this card. Uh, it is Curiosity, or I guess more aptly Ophidian Eye. Hmm. 
bounce. Yeah, interesting. Is a creature that soul bounds instead. Yeah, yes. you bet. I have no effects. Or not soul bound. Yeah, soul yeah bound. it is soul bound. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got that. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to soul bound with my only other creature, Vile Smashing Spears. Okay. Uh, I will then pass the turn. Not even attacking. Okay. Oh, I should do... Right. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Jan. Oh, I'm going to attack Jan you. for two. Wow. Because of how helpful he was. Trigger. Trigger. Uh, so Jan takes two command yep. damage. Trigger, draw her. And I will pass the turn. All right. I'm going to untap. I have a Mystic Remora trigger. It gets a third age counter. And I'm going to send it to the exile zone. Sure. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Sorry, two, 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 two. two, <laughs> two, 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 two. That was just a pot of greed. <laughs> and now I'll play pot of greed. <laughs> Four turns, pot of greed. <laughs> uh, we'll play Training Grounds. Did you oh, draw for turn? I did not. Oh my god. It's a good thing I'm a judge. Okay. Punch, <laughs> punch count one. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I'll play a Training Grounds. You got it. We'll play this Llanowar Elves. Oh goodness. Acceptable. I got nothing. Sure. How many Elves do you have? We'll cast an Imperial Seal. Oh goodness. Mm. Uh, Jan. No effects. Uh, Jared. No effects. Uh, Bill. No effects. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put uh, this snow-covered forest on top of my library. I don't think that was the longest there. laugh I've ever heard in my life. He didn't stop. Oh, we've been out. here for. 30 I am minutes. exhausted. Yeah. My entire body hurts. Thirty-six for Alex. I have Ooh. Alex at thirty-six. Alex, thirty-six. You will pass the turn. Awesome. I'm gonna untap. Awesome to the max. Awesome. Draw this card. Ooh, that's a card. Play this island. I'm gonna. A four mana. I'm That's gonna cast four. Why are you drawing a card? I'm not gonna draw a card. I'm looking. I'm getting ready. Oh, I know it's not revealed, right? It's That's not, not included with the last turn. Yeah, I'm just so okay. used to it. Okay, I uh, I pass priority on circuit with no effects. No effects. All right, some conversation. My friend Alex sitting next to me. Sure. How valuable is this card on top of my deck? Yeah. Uh, medium. He just tutored for it, so he with has every Imperial reason tool. to lie. All I'm saying. I'm gonna cast a ponder. Oh, trigger. trigger. And I'm gonna trigger Circu. Trigger. Can I read Circu? You bet you can. Hmm. Okay. Jerry? Oh, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Effects the trigger. No effects. Um, I wanna pick Jerry. Oh. Virgin Catacombs <laughs> down. <laughs> It is, it is exiled face up, but it is also slightly different. Because yeah, because now you can't, we, nobody can cast Verdant Catacomb. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to resolve my ponder. Yes. One, two, three. I'm going to put the top three back Ooh. like that mm. and draw this card. Okay, Ooh. he didn't shuffle. I didn't shuffle. He didn't shuffle. Did not shuffle. No shuff. I'm going to plus one this card. Target. Uh, it is up to one. Uh... <laughs> You know what? Let's let's target this mana vault. Your mana vault is a creature. It's a one one until my next turn. Okay. <laughs> With uh, it's no power abilities. and toughness. Yeah, no abilities. Go ahead. I have an effect at the end of your turn. All right. Good. I'm gonna tap Grass Cradle for three green. Yep. You have my coast for a colorless and Sylvan carry at it for a purple. Meaning it doesn't matter. Can't do that. I'm gonna attempt to cast Court of Calling. So we're assuming X equals two. We're assuming he's going to get Priest of Titania, which is pretty good considering there are three elves on the battlefield currently. Yes, that's Circus a lot of an elf. Uh, Land War yeah, elves. Land elves. Oh, I, I know where Land War elves is, but yeah. Circus not. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad that you know that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to exile copy artifact from my hand to cast Force of Negation trigger Vile Smasher the Fierce. Ooh, that's good. I, like like smasher, I have so. no effects. Vile Smasher trigger. Uh, on the stack. Yeah, no effects to the Vile Smasher trigger. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Take three. I'm going down to uh, 36. Trigger my tandem lookout soul bond effect draw card. I don't like how uh, readily you just pointed at me, Bill. <laughs> I'm just used to it. Take five. Uh, yes. Quarter calling. Exiled. Yeah. Okay, twice. Very exiled. Uh, I have no further effects uh, and will pass priority. I'm going to move to my turn. Okay, sounds good. Do, 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 do. I'm going to attempt to cast a Karametra's Acolyte. Ooh, God. that's so interesting. Uh, I'm going to tap for a green mm -hmm. and a 
blue, oh, taking an ouch. There goes two. Taking an ouch. 35. I'm going to play uh, this phantasmal image as a copy of... Wait, does it... Does it, res does it resolve? Does this phantasmal image resolve? I have no effects. No effects. No effects. It's uh, Karametra's Acolyte. Ooh. I will pass the turn. It's a 1 4. Yes. It's a 1 4. Uh, I'm going to untap. And I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Forbidden Orchard as my line for the turn. And I'm also going to crack this Verdant Catacombs going to 38. Uh, I'm going to find a Badlands, oh, and bad. I'm going to use five of my mana, giving, let's say, Alex the token, Ooh. the spirit token. Do we have it? Or that's a construct. That's a construct. Yeah, yeah right there. That. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to cast Krom, Ludovic's Opus, Constant Trigger Vile Smasher for five. Yep. Uh, does anybody have any effects to the trigger? Nope. nope. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Take five. Go to uh, 31. So 31. I will trigger my soul bond, tandem lookout ability, and draw a card. Would you like to re soul bond to Krom? No. I'm going to move to combat. <laughs> I'm going to attack Jerry for four in the air with haste and Alex for two on the ground. With haste. With not haste. Mm. I'm going to take this lovely spirit token you've given me mm -hmm. and throw it right in front of Vile Smasher. Perfect. Should have re soul bond. <laughs> I'm going to take off four killing Jerry. And go down to 31. All right. And Twins. Wow, I'm in second. I yeah. will pass the turn. Okie doke. Did he end up drawing his Imperial Sealed card? I believe it took oh, a yeah, while, but we did. got there. He because you, uh, you, you targeted me after he Imperial Sealed. Correct. Did. Seems kind of loose. Well, I mean... Only we'll we'll find out at the end of this video. Next I don't know why I did that. Next time. Yeah, we'll find out right now when Alex wins with the Imperial Seal card he got. Oh, I won't win. But I am gonna fire Covenant. Oh, oh who's stupid now, Jerry? How much are you fire covenanting for? A lot. Yeah. Please choose your targets. Yep, we're gonna pay 18 life, and that'll put us to very low. For risking it for the biscuit, it, as they say. So 31 Thir minus 18 is 13. 13. Go to 13. Wow, that's backwards. Fire okay. Covenant targets every legal target that isn't mine or Hexproof. Oh, no. I have no oh, responses. No. I'm sad. I'm going to give you a bird. <laughs> oh, right in the face. Oh. Whoa, whoa. I don't uh, know if this resolves. That's true. This still dies this because still dies, it is targeted. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That's still fine. Uh, I have no effects to that. I unfortunately have no effects to that. I also have no effects to that. Yikes. You have a bird. I have a bird. I have a bird. That is uh, less than ideal, I think is the, I would uh, say the phraseology. That that's accurate, yes. All right, pass it off. All right, well, I'm going to untap. I draw this card that I knew about. Oh, yeah. It makes you feel better. You did get rid of five mana of mine still. I'll play the sunken <laughs> ruin. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Should have just done it for one. <laughs> just <laughs> bip. <laughs> bip. Probably wouldn't count. Actually, it. actually, you could do it for zero because you're still yeah. targeting it. Bip. <laughs> That's not a creature. Oh, it's still a creature. No, it's not. Never actually, mind. Yeah. Hang on. I'm casting another spell. Uh, I'm gonna cast this bolus citadel. Oh goodness. No response. <laughs> Rip. Uh, no effects. All right, I did it. I resolved the bolus citadel. Yeah, Let's see how dead I am. <laughs> Hmm. Faster. <laughs> I knew about oh, this card. Uh, trigger. Oh yeah, trigger. Neat. Uh, Jerry. Bip. Natural order. Nobody can cast natural order. That's actually a decent hit. Good job, Jan. You I finally targeted correctly in your life. I did it. Cool talk. I'm gonna cast this Mox Diamond. Uh, trigger or Krom, draw a card. That's your second spell this turn. <laughs> uh, and kill it, because I don't have a land to discard. Nice. Wow. It was free. Alright, this is, we're gonna do math now. I'm gonna pay two life and cast this Mind Stone. Going to 30. All right, well, I'm gonna go to 29, uh, and something's getting palmified. So, Someone's becoming an ape. Uh, I'm going to cast palmify. Yes. So oh, I'm going to the top card of my life. Well, first, you have to choose targets. For oh, so I'm gonna target Karamitra's Acolyte. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I have a Sirku trigger uh, that's gonna target Bill. Okay. Uh, so Sirku trigger first, I guess. Yes. So I will exile. Uh, force of Will. Nobody Wait. can cast Force of Will. Who? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I don't run that card. Card's bad. 
All right, so Apocryphy on this deck. Uh, no responses. My Karameter's Acolyte goes into exile because it is destroyed, and I get an ape. Wait, yes. Yes. That's part of the resolution, not because my Karameter died. Correct. Yeah, cool. All right, we're going to look at this card here. Uh, we are going to pay zero life to cast a Chromox. <laughs> About to change the life. Um, <laughs> Imprint trigger, I'm going to imprint this Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. Mm. So my Chromox now taps for... Oop. Oop. Oops. Put it over here in my old command zone. So we're going to look at this card here. I'm going to pay four life, go to 25. And, and the Flex Reservoir. We're going to cast this here, Urza Lord High Artificer. Trigger. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Trigger, I am actually going to target myself. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to exile this Dispel. So nobody can cast Dispel. I'm just going to, just one moment. Everybody else can see on the card reader, <laughs> yeah. but I, my, my glasses aren't on me. So Top card of, of target player's oh, library. Right, yeah. library. Uh, we're going to trigger card Urza. We're going to get this here, Construct. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was a weird... Turn of events. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna tap my construct for a blue and my mind stone for a colorless. Uh, and I'm gonna cast Cyclonic Rift, uh, targeting Vile Smasher with Cyclonic Rift, targeting myself with Sirku's ability. Uh, sure, that, that happens. Okay, we're gonna exile this Forbidden Orchard. Ha, it's already on the battlefield. Ha. Uh, I'm gonna pay two more life, go to 23. Cast this Ethereum Sculptor. Ooh. That also helps for top of the library shenanigans. It does. That saves you one life. Uh, by the way, you cast this target. target. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bill. Hey, uh, Necropotes. Mm. That's a good one. Um, okay, well, let's go to 20. Jam to 20. Uh, we're going to cast this Laboratory Maniac. Trigger. Trigger. Uh... Fiery Island. Oh, nobody can cast those fiery islands. They couldn't in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna go to 18. I'm gonna cast this Lazav the Multifarious. Two triggers. Two triggers. Uh, myself and Bill. Dark Confidant. Cabal Coppers. And then a Lazav trigger, Surveilling One. Let's put this Academy Ruins into my graveyard. I'm going to cast this Mox Opal for zero life. Technically minus one. <gasps> Get it, a mana. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Do you have Metalcraft online? No. No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to animate the... No. Uh, I'm going to pay one, but for a grand total of three, going to 15, I'm going to cast this Vampiric Tutor. Ooh. That's pretty bad for us. Yep, I... Jerry. Pass priority. Ah, no priority. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. Oh, uh, I'm gonna target Bill with uh, Sirku's ability. Exotic Orchard. Nice. Both Orchards down. I'm gonna check. That's. Oh, that's a cool card. I'm gonna just search now. So I put this card on top of my library. And I'll look at it. Uh, I will pay three life, going to twelve. Uh, to cast an Aether Flux Reservoir. Yes, sir. Isn't it their Flux Reservoir for me? Uh, I have an Ethereum months. Sculptor. Oh, that's fancy. Uh, I apologize to everybody that uh, everything is super messy. Look at the top card. Didn't get there. Uh, I'm going to tap my Chrome Mox, my Ethereum Sculptor, uh, my Aether Flux Reservoir, and, your... and my Mox Oval. Yep. For uh, three blue and a colorless, well, four blue, and I'm going to cast Word of Invention X equals one. Two triggers. Two triggers. Uh, I'm going to gain a life. Oh, no. Gain a bunch of life. I'm going to gain a bunch of life. Well, what, what card are you getting? I'm going to go get my uh, Sensei's Divining Top. That's a combo with... Uh, it is a combo with... with both Bolas' Citadel and, and the Lab Reservoir. And Laboratory. And lab oh, wow. <laughs> That's fascinating. Okay. Um, We're going to trip combo. Do you have a response to combo. that? Uh, no. Do you have a response to that? I think it's your turn to answer that question. I am... This is me <laughs> assuming that I am passing priority. Great. Because I am. Well, I don't have anything either, so okay. that's unfortunate. Cool. I, All think, right. I think we can just 
We, well, we do have an instructional video on how that uh, combo yes. is solved. Oh, yeah? uh, that's actually narrated by Josh Lee Kwai from the command from the command zone. Wow, so go check it out. Super cool. He is super cool. He's so yeah, you guys cool. should check it out to see exactly how uh, Jan wiped us off of the face of the earth. Hey everybody, it's Jan here. Just thought I'd take a few moments to explain kind of what happened in this week's game and how I won. Uh, as you may have noticed, I did have a Bolus's Citadel, an Ethereum Sculptor, and an Aetherflux Reservoir in play. And Bill comments on how it's a, a combo, and everyone just kind of scoops up and we, we don't do a lot of, uh, we don't go through the paces. So, just want to let you all know what's really happening here. So once I have my Sensei Divining Top in play, what I can do is I can activate the second ability of the Divining Top to tap it, draw a card, and put it on top of my library. What this does is with Bolus' Citadel, it lets me keep casting my Divining Top, either by paying the one life if you don't have a cost reducer, and then drawing as many cards as you have life. If you have a cost reducer, like the Ethereum Sculptor, you can essentially just draw your whole deck and win with your Laboratory Maniac. But if you have an Aetherflux Reservoir in play, each time you cast top, you're gaining more and more life, and eventually you'll have enough life to activate the Aetherflux Reservoir and kill everybody on the table. So those are the two lines I had, and we kind of didn't really pick one, but it could have gone either way. Welcome to the post-game discussion. There was a little bit of a cut, just as uh, there was a little bit of technical difficulties. But uh, now we are here to discuss what exactly happened, what we were hoping to happen, and what can potentially happen in the future if we choose to play these decks again. Uh, so my deck did actually start doing something that it was trying to, like, the main part of the deck where I was able to get a curiosity effect onto Vile Smasher. I just didn't have enough ways to cast spells reliably on everybody else's turn, uh, especially counter spells. Counter spells were, uh, seemed to be very important in that game. Yeah, it, like, curiosity control. I think the control aspect... It didn't uh, really... Curiosity, yeah. oh boy, that was there. But, yeah, uh -oh. so... Uh, so yeah, I was kind of, I was drawing a lot of cards, and I had two draw sevens in my hand, uh, which don't really combo well with each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I was, I think the, the thing to keep in mind for next time is just to draw more counter spells. Yeah. I, I think that's what I'm going to try to do next time. But, uh, all in all, I really do like this deck. I think it's very powerful. Um, I think the fact that it can just continuously draw cards is, is kind of ridiculous, but, uh. Yeah, it didn't really it didn't really work out for me this time. But mm -hmm. uh, Alex, what do you think about Kenrith Elfball? Kenrith Elfball was a lot of fun. I was uh, actually pretty close. I had my Baron in hand and a way to go find my Dockside Extortionist, oh. which would have allowed me to, after Jan's turn, uh, <laughs> generate infinite numbers of treasure uh, because we already had our training grounds in place. So I only needed to have, I believe, if I'm doing the math right, four uh, artifacts. Five. But, five. Five. But you need to... Get the uh, Karn off the board because you can't. But I need to get the you can't the activate the treasures exactly. with the Karn. And so the hope Ooh, was is uh, <laughs> the hope was is that uh, Jerry was going to take care of the Karn to do mm -hmm. horrible elf things, yeah. and then hopefully we live through that, and then we do horrible Kenrith things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but thankfully, the hero of the day prevented the horrible <laughs> things with his own <laughs> horrible created, things. Yeah, more horrible. Um, yeah, for anyone who's been watching us since the first season, uh, they know I absolutely love this deck. Um, it's one of my favorites. I've been playing it since the show started. Um, with the banning of Paradox Engine, a lot of work went into retooling how the deck plays because um, not having Paradox Engine means the Lantern Control Plan is not actually that great anymore because you need Dramatic Scepter. To do it so with this we've been looking at like the mystic forge uh the bolus combos i'm trying out some other redundant de demir combos in the deck uh, but i had a lot of fun with this this one did exactly what i wanted to do and we found a really interesting interaction in that um with bolus citadel if you've already played your land for the turn jerry pointed this out and you hit a land you kind of have nowhere to go and you just have to stop but because of Siku's ability when you cast your spell you can look at the top card of your library before choosing the the um because you can look at it any time yeah but are you able to do it before because once yep. the trigger's on the stack you have already chosen a target I mean, I'm not a judge. So here's the thing. Information that you're entitled to is information you're entitled to while making decisions. Yeah. Hmm. So okay. you cast your spell, you look at the top card of your library, and as long as it's a blue or black spell, if the top card's a land and you can't play it, you target yourself and you clear the lands out uh, and you just keep going from there. So that's actually a really cool thing that Sirku can do that other Bolus generals or Bolus Citadel combos don't. Um, yeah, that's kind of a cool interaction. Yeah. How'd your day go, Jerry? Well... As per normal, um, either something got countered that I shouldn't have gotten countered, or 
Well, there's actually no hate pieces. I can't say there's any hate pieces. Yeah. Karn. There was a Karn. There was a Karn. Oh, actually, yeah. Karn stopped me for the simple reason that I had a Staff of Domination in my hand and a Karametra's Acolyte that tapped for more than five mana at one point. Oh, yeah, so if it true. got back to my turn, I would have infinite mana, infinite draws win. But uh, that didn't happen. Uh, both of them died. And Check I didn't the tape. End, it didn't even end up uh, you know, getting back to my turn, which is pretty standard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that was the story of the game uh, for all yeah. of us. It didn't get back to our turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, circuit won. Yeah. Um, exiled some stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nobody can cast I, I, Cataclysm. I don't know if it mattered, but uh, exiling the Force of Will is exactly what you want to be doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, with, absolutely. Uh, with, yeah. I mean, with Sirku. That was uh, maybe the best hit I've ever seen yeah. in five seasons of making content. Uh, and you the, play. I think the, the best that I can think of is if you can land somehow land Sirku turn one and cast a spell and hit someone's soul ring if you're going first <laughs> can disrupt <laughs> so much about the game but it's you're literally empty-handed and, yeah yeah but, it, would be, it would be pretty gross though yeah that'd be something to write home about um yeah anyway yeah. uh so that was a fun uh that was a fun episode uh all of us kind of got to do some things and some stuff alex thank you once again for hey. being an esteemed guest of the yes. Spike Beers. esteemed already esteemed. wow esteemed. low bar yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you're assuming we have a bar um anyway thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you guys next time Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. And you can click this link to check out our other great videos.